How's it going boys? Johnny Superb Man here and it's time to finally start up our Hockey Ultimate Team Series for NHL 13. You guys, a lot of you guys wanted me to do this for NHL 12. I just never got into it just because versus mode for 12 um, didn't interest me but I can handle it in NHL 13. Now, I've already gotten started on my Hockey Ultimate Team, alright? I've already done everything because I did get the game early, alright? So I got to explain to you guys how I got everything. You can see I've already had it for 7 days in a row, alright? I got the, uh, the, the 7 day in a row streak going or whatever when once you guys get the game you'll understand what I'm talking about I don't want to use this video as a tutorial for you guys all right the game's already been released you guys probably already know more than I do when it comes to hut because I'm still fairly new when it comes to hut but what I want to do in this video is show you guys the team that I already have um, don't worry about my record yeah my records 28 3 and 1 that's all against computer AI when I had the game um, when like last week kind of thing you know um, what happened was, um, when I got the game for the first time, I made my team, but they were still working on the server, so like every day the servers got reset, so I had like, I had Zach Parise on my team at one point, I had, um, who else did I have? Uh, there was some other dude, I forget. Uh, it was like a Luke Shen, uh, the Shen brothers, I had JVR on another team, alright, and I think I must have played at least 60 games against the, uh, the, against the computer on Superstar before the EA Sports Season ticket came out, and once that came out, they, they reset the servers for the last time, so that's my record since, what, Friday, I think, and it's all against computers, just because working on pucks, okay, but... Good thing is, I already have basically a team put together here. So, what we'll do in this video is, I'll show you my team, and um, I want to get your opinions on what this Hut series should be about. Obviously, you guys want to see some gameplay, which I don't mind as well. But there's so much on Hut that you can do just on the side, and it takes a long time as well, alright? So, my first line is like this. Haley Wickenheiser, baby! That's right! She's going to be our captain for this team. And I'm going to I'm going to give her the C. Don't you worry, not not just yet. I wanted to show you guys that. But, yeah, I got Haley Wickenheiser, alright? So, she's our first line uh, left winger. Brad Marchand, he's not too bad. Uh, now, I'm not going to show you guys the... Uh, the contracts, I've been putting contracts in my players. I'm not going to show you the training because you guys know they, they messed up big time on the training this year. The training now is only for one game, which is, I mean, it's I'm not even going to get into why it's absolutely horrible that it's only one game. I'm going to make a whole video of what they should have done. But uh, training is pretty much useless now. Salary is useless. Um, but you guys don't need to know the height and weight. Original team, healthy. All right, so I'm just going to leave it on their uh, overall stats and show you guys everyone, all right? So Marshawn's pretty good, 85 everywhere or better. Uh, Dustin Brown, same kind of thing. He's a really good checker. I've noticed that. And you line him up for a body check. Uh, I really like my defensive core. Team, uh, Kimo Timonen, he's a fast defenseman. Uh, Braden Colburn, he's playing alongside of him. And I got Tuka Rask in the net. But I actually just got Tuka Rask last night when I sold some players. I got him in a gold pack. The goalie I was using beforehand was uh, Simeon Varlamov, all right? So I got a pretty good one-two punch and goal. Uh, Tuka Rask and Simeon Varlamov. So if there's anyone out there willing to make a trade for either of those goalies, I might be willing to unload them. And that's another thing we're going to use this series for. You guys, we can trade with each other. You guys can find someone in the comments that's uh, willing to trade somebody, all right? Yeah, we can uh, we can have fun that way. So there's my first line. Second line is going to be uh, David Booth, who's actually really good, 86 overall. Um, I've noticed anyone who's 86 or better, they're a very good player. Uh, he's really good. Uh, Sam Gagne, he's very fast. Uh, I don't necessarily like him completely, but he's a fast player, and you put him alongside a booth, so you got some checking on that line still. And then Steve Downey, who's a grinder, 85, right? So not a bad second line. And then we have our Edmonton defensive core with uh, Ryan Whitney and Cam Barker, all right? Uh, third line, we got uh, Carter Ashton, who I had in the uh, opening packs, all right? Uh, Michael Hanzus, it's not a bad... Um, Face-off winner, a checker, you know, a depth forward. Uh, David Jones, I think his first name is David. I don't know. I'd be willing to give up him. He's not a bad depth player. Nothing too special, though. Uh, Spiza, he's not bad. Uh, Ekman Larson, I really like. He's nice and fast. 88 for skating. All right. And then my fourth line is uh, Mike Brown. Got him in the opening pack. Uh, Gillis, who's not a bad... He's a fast checker, so I like him. Uh, Reeves, same kind of thing. A really good checker. All right. And then you know my defensive core, okay? And we go down to this. I got uh, McQuaid, Nino Niederreiter. If anyone wants him, let me know. Linus Olmark, uh, Brent Johnson, another goalie, but I don't think he would go for too much. He's only 83 overall, and he's the backup in, in Pittsburgh. Uh, Barry, 81. Hubel, 81. Gunnarsson, 83. I got him in my opening pack. Uh, Jeff Bloom, I really like him. I'm trying to figure out where I could put him in on our lines right now, but 
Um, I like my other defenseman, but I would be willing to maybe trade him or I want to get him on, my, on, on our team. Commissaric, he came in the pack. Get, get rid of freaking Commissaric and Hunwick, all right? So there's my team, basically. That's all the players that I have. And there's one thing that I want to do, basically. I wanted to save this for you guys because I know there's going to be a lot of people who don't like this decision. But you know what? I've got to do it. Now, first of all, Spiza, he needs some contracts, so we'll just give him a contract. Oh, yeah, I'll show you all my consumables as well. I got positioning for left D. I have all these contract cards. You get a lot of contract cards. All right, contract cards come and go, so don't worry about them. All right, my player training, I got to change team for Washington, Philly, Philly, Ottawa, Florida, Edmonton. Uh, Dallas, Colorado, Anaheim, uh, seven skater. I'm going to put that in my trade pile because, oh no, ah, I added seven skating to Spiza. Damn it, EA Sports. Make, uh, I wanted to click on it so that I could, uh, oh, whatever. All right, but it doesn't matter because training is useless anyways. The assistant captain card, you can put an A on a, on a player now on your team. It'll give him plus one in every category. Um, and your captain card, it'll give you plus two in every category, right? Uh, I want to use my player training to try and sell because a training card that only lasts for one game, I mean, it's completely useless now. Uh, Spiza, I wanted to give him contracts. That's why I clicked on him. I accidentally gave him a skating card. Whatever. He's 93 for skating now. Uh, yeah, that's enough contracts for him. Is that everyone? Yes, it is. All right. So, we have our team, and now it's time to anoint our captain. Haley Wickenheiser, gonna be the captain for my team. Anyone who doesn't like it can go to hell. <laughs> Apply consumable. Let's make Haley Wickenheiser my captain. All right, this this gal, this gal, Mrs. Mrs. Canada. You gotta respect her. All right, gold medals galore for Canada here. All right, so she's getting the C. And if I actually give her two plus for every category, look at her. She's uh, her skating will be up to 83, shooting 83, hands 84. Not a bad player. And you know what? It's perfect for our YouTube hot series. All right, to have Haley Wickenheiser scoring game winners and overtime goals against opponents. I'm gonna love it. So Captain Wickenheiser, yes. She's my captain. Now, we have two more assistant captain cards. Uh, I'm not going to use those just yet because the captain cards are actually... I'm not going to say they're they're super rare, but I have two. So until I get three, I'm not going to waste one. All right. But if anyone wants a captain card, I'd be willing to sell one. All right. And, yep, yeah, she's now 82 overall. Perfect. And we have to figure out who my two assistant captains are. Now, we still have a lot of players here that I might be willing to trade away. All right. If anyone has any interest in these players, go nuts in the comments or send me a personal message. All right. Um, I... Not for pucks, but for a straight-up trade. I would be willing to get um, other players back. And I'm not opposed to getting any player from any certain team. All right, there's some players from Toronto that I'd want. There's some players from maybe Montreal that I'd want. So go nuts. That's fine. I'm not going to show you any gameplay. Oh, there's my head coach. You got plus two for every category. Yeah, we all know that. I'm not going to show you guys any gameplay in this one because I want to get an opinion from you guys. What kind of... You guys want to see gameplay. Um, full game commentaries, montages... Uh, let me know, just like the versus gameplay I've done in NHL 12. Let me know all that good stuff. And the last thing I want to show you guys is the player statistics, all right? It shows you which players have been progressing best for you. I don't know if they did this in 12. Again, I didn't play Hockey Ultimate Team in 12 whatsoever. All right, but so far... Um, 32 games, all right, I've played with this team. I've had a few players start every single game. Goals, Dustin Brown is leading our team in goals. Downey and Wick and Heiser's in third, so the Wick can score some goals for me. All right, assists, Sam Gagne. He was doing, he was on our first line until I got Brad Marchand. That's why he had so many points. But Brad Marchand, I'd rather have him on our first line. Uh, and then points, yeah, Gagne. My first line for the longest time was Gagne, Brown, and, and the Wick. All right, I think uh, Marchand, he's probably only have... Where is he? Where's Marshawn? They're not even showing Marshawn. Whatever. Maybe he doesn't have enough games played yet. Let's see. He's got to have some. Yeah, there he is. Yeah, he's got nine points already. All right. So that's that's why. But so you guys can help me out with my assistant captains this way. But I want to make sure that the captains are players that I'm going to hold on to forever. No matter what. Dustin Brown could be one. But if the right LA fan came around and said, I'll trade you Dustin Brown for, you know, Phil Kessel and Dion Phaneuf. Yeah, I trade him away in a second. All right. So there you go. We're going to expand on this hockey ultimate team. Um, I want to make some videos where I save up a lot of pucks and then I go into auction so you guys see me buying things. All right. All that good stuff. I 
want to show some gameplay. So just go nuts in the comments and let me know what you guys want to see in Hockey Ultimate Team exactly. All right, because there's so many things that I can record. We can spend time in the damn trading screens and, and make a 20 minute video just out of that. All right, we can do live commentaries with the superb men making trades such as that. All right, so let me know. What do you guys want to see next for episode two Hockey Ultimate Team? Gameplay or do you want to see me gain a bunch of pucks and go into trades for, uh, for number two? All right, let me know, boys. For Johnny Superb, man, and the great Domsky, take it easy, and we'll see you next time.